Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. Uh, today I'm going to show you a new type of for loop. And because I just taught you how to do an array, I'm going to show you how to loop through an array with a... It's called an enhanced for loop. So, I have been starting off with the classes created. So just as a reminder, I'm going to show you how to start a project and open up and then write a class and all that again real quick. So go up here to this box, right click it or left click it, Java project, and then in the project name for mine, I'm going to say uh, capital J Java 24 enhanced for loop for loop, for loop, there we go, all that's good, next, finish, okay, and now I'll have that highlighted, and you can go here, you can right click also, and, and go here, to the uh, new, and then go class, I usually just go right here, where, where this uh, green circle with the C is, new Java class, you just have to click that, and you put in the name, I'll just say uh, enhanced for loop. Um, which method stubs would you like to create? I'll just put in a main method. This way I won't have to type it out. Makes life a little bit easier. But they do give you these to do um, comments, which are great when you're making a long program. Because as you can see on the left side, there's a little checkbox right here so if you write a, a huge program and, and maybe there's something you don't quite know how to connect together you know put the pieces to the puzzle yet uh, always do a uh, two comments or uh, two slashes make a comment and say to do and it'll put this little checkbox there for you so you can always go through and find that and take care of that when the time comes but let's get on to this let's make a string array I'm going to say names, and remember when you instantiate or create a array, you're going to want to have the, the type and then the variable name with brackets. Nothing inside those brackets. And we're going to say equals, and I'm just going to plug in the values from the get-go. So let's put in a few names. And when you make an array of names, remember, uh, or of string type, remember they always go in double quotes. So I'm going to put in my name. Uh, then they're comma separated. I'll put in Judy. Let's think of some other names. Uh, John. Um, Doug. Uh, say Chloe. Favorite dog. All right. So there's just a little uh, string array with five elements in there. As you remember before, the syntax for for loop was for, and then you have a initializer or a counter of some sort, and for short, it's n i equals zero, and that's the index of which element you're you're indexing. So you know, remember you always start at zero. Then you want to say how long that goes for. So you want to say i goes till names dot length. Uh, semicolon and then you want to increment I and right here let's us out uh, names and then you put the brackets and put I in there so f from the last tutorial you'll remember that it will start at zero and increment all the way to I guess four and then it'll stop printing stuff out so just to show you it still works, there we go, there's all the names. Now I'm going to show you what an enhanced for loop does. I usually use this when I'm dealing with numbers and uh, arrays of integers, any type of numbers like that, not not really the enhanced for loop, but I use the enhanced for loop when it comes to objects. And I you, you can use ints in here, but uh, I usually don't. I, I use object. String is an object, so I just decided to do it here. So the the syntax for this is going to be the the type, which is string, or if you had 
any type of object you put the name in there then we're gonna have an identifier value it doesn't matter what it is just don't name it names and that's gonna be the placeholder for the current um, you know for the first loop it's gonna be right here on Mike the second loop will be Judy so you don't have to deal with uh, the incrementation and where the index is currently at so you do this and then after a colon you put the array name that you want in there so its names so right now and then we open close some curly brackets and I'm just going to copy and paste this but obviously I gotta take the I out well I gotta actually change the whole thing and put X in there okay so what's gonna happen now is it's going to look at this array which is names of the string type and it's going to temporarily name the current index to X and all it's pretty it's the same thing as this one except for this and this are all behind the scenes so let's see how this functions let's uh let's put a line in between there so we can or a blank line so it's a little bit easier to see where one begins and ends and as you can see it's the same exact thing so that's what an enhanced for loop is um, so please subscribe to my channel and I'm going to keep these videos coming and I want to make I want to end up making Java GUI tutorials so you can have more of a desk type type uh, type of uh, application instead of you know running everything through this little console thing right here or if you're using uh, command lines like this you don't wanna always run your programs out of there that that's a pain it's ugly and it's it, it's pretty you know it's very old technology you want you want cool boxes like this Eclipse box that was written in Java actually so I'm gonna try to get into the GUIs I'm gonna try to get into doing math tutorials and all that but please subscribe uh, to the channel um, my website I'm gonna start working on it and trying to enhance that a little bit but please give me a thumbs up and have a great day